Stop. Warning. The content you're about to receive is for the sole purpose of exposing fake trainers, doctors, nutritionists, life coaches, and wellness gurus, in addition to educate them and provide you with accurate information. Thirty-six years ago, I became a personal trainer. My objective back then, as it is today, was to get my clients in the best shape of their lives. But in order to do that, I had to know everything about the three training components that were responsible for changing the body in the most efficient way. Therein lies the problem. You see, most personal trainers are absolutely incoherent about the three training components, and they're dead wrong in the way they train their clients. It's a real issue in the industry. So my mission today is to expose fake trainers and to inform consumers, to talk straight and to provide accurate information. What you're about to see in the upcoming video, I'm telling you, will produce profound results. I urge you to check it out. You will not be sorry. There's a reason why personal trainers, for the most part, can't make a living at this business, and it's a huge business now. Uh, 30 years ago, 36 years ago when I started, much different. But now it's become a huge industry. But you know something? Most personal trainers are still making stupid mistakes that kill their business. And one of them for, that I've seen over and over again is that a trainer will, it's kind of like a honeymoon. When they first start training their, their client, well, the client's excited, and so is the trainer. And I don't know, in about you know, 18 months or a year, it just depends on the trainer actually, but what ends up, the point that I'm trying to make is that the trainer all of a sudden starts getting too comfortable. They start mailing in in the workout. That is one problem because then what happens is your client's gonna get bored. I'm telling you, most people, that's the reason why they're hi hiring you in the first place is because they need somebody to help them. So you, you wanna make sure that you're not just becoming a, an enabler to the client or becoming their buddy because that's not going to work either. One of the uh, trainers that I had years ago who was one of the nicest people uh, that I've known, they had one of the worst retention rates as far as being able to hold on to their clientele because the client comes in and you know at first it's like I said they're hot and bothered and everybody's getting after it and after a while it just becomes like routine and routine it can be a killer in some cases and it for most people. So if you're that trainer that's becoming a buddy or if you're just starting to you know, mail in your workout, you're going to lose your clientele. One of the things that a client really wants from you is they want to believe that you can help them reach their dream. And if you can continue to do that and if you give the impression to that client that you're in this with them, I promise you that you will, as a trainer, you'll never have a, a client deficit. All you can do is your part and educate that clientele, but you have to be willing to do that on an ongoing basis. It takes energy, it takes discipline, and that's and, uh, one, the other thing that, that trainers don't have, really, the, the, the fake trainers, is they just don't have that discipline to keep doing the little things that make a big difference. If you want more information on this subject, please go to my YouTube channel and check me out there. If you like what you see, please subscribe.